Hey, what's up? I got a three-day weekend. Used a vacation day for Friday so I can make a bit of extra content. Um, I'm going to make a pretty big backlog, so you'll see some videos flowing out the next few days. Um, I just wanted to talk about constantly remind yourself of where alcohol takes you, right? I, I've talked about the pink cloud and the clarity and getting really comfortable with where you're at in sobriety. And then, you know, it can tend to lead to drinking again because you feel like you can moderate or you just feel good. You know, oh, a hangover won't catch me again. It always catches you. Um, the anxiety, the dread, the doubt, all that, it's always there that next day. It's always there. Um, I hit nine months here this upcoming week. And I'm excited to get through the summer and hit August and hit my year. I'm going to do it. There's just, it's non negotiable to me. Um, but yeah, I just want you all to always think ahead, like we talked about before, always play the tape forward. Um, always think about what it would be like the next morning. It'll help counter those cravings and those thoughts. Um, it, it's getting much, it's pretty easy for me now. Like I'll have certain triggers and uh, little stints of cravings, but it's never like hours upon hours of obsessing like it used to be. Um, but yeah, do you want to be back in the cycle of spending the money on it? Um, having to drive to get it, walk to get it, um, consume it. And put that hindrance on your body and then, you know, the social repercussions, you know, the text you send, the things you say, if you look like an idiot, the idiocy that comes with it, right? I'm sure there's people I don't even know that, that know me when I'd be at the bar. I didn't really frequent the bar, the bar all the time, but I'm sure the people that know me from when I'd be there like once a month probably have only seen me wasted so if i went down and drank water they'd probably they probably won't even recognize me or they'd be like wow i've only ever seen you wasted down here because i'd be like three sheets to the wind before i even walked down because there's a you know the primary bar i went to is a block away which made it easy for me to just get plastered and walk down you know it's crazy to think i haven't stepped foot in there in almost a year and a lot of people I would, like, drunk message or whatever. I, I communicate with some of them a bit, but, like, I don't know. You'll notice a lot of your, a lot of the communication won't be there with people. You know, people you message when you're intoxicated. If you're not messaging them sober, it sort of goes out the window. But that's whatever because it's sort of meaningless conversation anyways. Like, and they probably know you're messed up if you're typing oddly or... You know, if it's late at night, I'm sure a lot of my best friends would know I was drunk because it was always like late at night, same old ramblings, you know. But yeah, look at the diaper on my dog. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But uh, yeah, keep looking ahead. Um, Where do you want to be in three, six, nine months, a year? You know, you know how many times I've had like 90 days, 60 days sober and I, there was a counter on stop drinking on Reddit, which I recommend that I haven't been active on in a while, but I remember being at 60 days and being so proud and then, you know, drinking and then going on and resetting it and being like, man, I could be at 300, 500, 600 days, you know, and that was a perpetual cycle. Now I'm officially... Uh, you know, I'm over 200 now, which is amazing. Um, over what? I'm about to hit 270, is it? Yeah, 270. So I'm coming up on 300 days. I don't really keep track of it, but it's awesome. You know, and I couldn't imagine ruining that and resetting. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, just know... It's a toxin and where it will lead you. You don't want to be back in that perpetual hell, you know? 
You don't want to wake up feeling like death warmed over. I hate, always hated that saying when I was, you know, when I was hung over, I always thought about that. Death warmed over. Some people would say you look like that. I've looked very rough, you know, the next day after drinking. Bloodshot eyes, puffy face. It's just, it's really not worth it. But that fix, that drunk, it can be so gravitating, you know. It really sucks you in. And sometimes you just, when your mind's set and you go to buy it and drink it, it, there's nothing, you know. Sometimes it's just like, it's almost like it's already fate. You go and do it, and then the next day you're like, why did I do that? It's like it controls you or something. You know, don't be afraid to fail. I've failed so many times, I, I, don't, I, can't, I don't even have track of it. This time it's sticking more. Um, I have a different outlook. A better foundation um, but yeah that's what you need um, if, if you're in a very stressful situation or your home life's hindering you it, it, it could really make it harder um, but yeah I could easily walk into a liquor store and walk right out now or go to a beer barn or, you know, anything like that. I could be around people drinking and partying. It I, it wouldn't phase me. I haven't went around that. I know some people are highly against that, like people, places, things. I could do it. I know I could. I just have no desire to be at the bar. But, like, this summer when I'm out camping or I'm at a fire or I'm at a buddy's house to cook out, and they're drinking, it's really not going to phase me at all. To me, it's like, I'm, I'm viewing it more as like just poison. And it's like a waste of money. And when I watch people consume it, I'm, I'm going to know they're going to have repercussions. I mean, it, if they're moderate, that's good. I'm happy for moderate drinkers. But there's a, there's a quote that says like, alcohol steals happiness from tomorrow. And it's sort of true. It really is, but um, there's not much more to say on this topic. Just always think a day ahead and take it a day at a time if that works for you. And if you're thinking about quitting, I'm telling you, the grass is greener on the other side. I, I feel much more free not even having to go and buy it every other week, you know, at max every week on the weekends. Having to go to the bar and waste money and just be around the same people doing the same stuff, you know? The only things I really miss are house parties, but like I said, they fade out. You know, people get married, they have kids, you know, you grow up. House parties were fun in my young 20s, but those days are gone. And I recommend, like I said, by 25, stopping that as well. All right, that's about it.